Hey Josh, stop dragging your feet. Let's get started. Yes, that was lame. <laughs> that was super lame. That's called when you can't think of a good intro, make a pun. Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. I'm Jessica. And I'm Josh. And today we are reviewing How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. The Hidden World. Not to be confused with The Fallen Kingdom, <laughs> which was stupid. Very different movie. <laughs> yeah, there were different. lizards with sharp teeth in that one too. So if you're just waking up from a coma... Uh, Living under a rock. Or yeah, something, you might not realize that this is the third movie in this franchise of the How to Train Your Dragon world following the adventures of the people of Burke, primarily Hiccup and his dragon Toothless. Right. Okay. And there's the side characters that are along for the ride. Yeah, we're not going to name all those people because this for? is an IMDb. <laughs> so, Josh, yeah, what did goodness. you think of this movie? I enjoyed this movie. Um, probably not as much as the original film. I really like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. I like the second one, too. I thought the story was good. Um, this one, I think, kind of follows suit with that one. It um, doesn't really take off exactly where the last one left off, but, you know, you kind of get a sense that, uh, you know, Hiccup is now become chief which happens at the end of the last show and about their adventures you know moving forward right uh overall i did like the story i thought the voice acting was good you know just like the other ones um but i will say visually i think this was probably the most stunning of the three yeah i mean there was just stuff that was just totally gorgeous at times and it was really amazing what the animators did for this film i think it was really fantastic right um but like I said, I did enjoy the story, um, and I had a good time watching it. I was never bored, and I was entertained. I thought it was actually, for the most part, pretty funny. Um, but again, I mean, just like the wow factor of the animation was really just like, it just hard to look away from. It was really beautiful. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I agree. So for that, with the fact that it was visually very beautiful, um, and it was nice to see this movie on the big screen because... Well, usually when I watch these movies at home, yeah. I'm not always paying super close attention because I'm, like, busy. Also but, kids. <laughs> and, right. But seeing it on the big screen, I feel like I picked up a lot more of the detail than I normally, um, what, you know, notice when we're watching movies at home. Right. And just, like, the details of all, like, the dragon scales and everything, you know, it was really nice to see that on the big screen. And there were some very just gorgeous... Yeah. Moments, and you've seen hints of them in the trailer. But the most stunning part is when they actually find the, the, the hidden, hidden world. world, and that's not really giving anything away because it's in the trailers. Right. So um, <laughs> it's in the title, even. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's. I mean, that's gorgeous. Um, I did enjoy the movie too. I agree. It's not not as good as the first one. I don't think they've recaptured the magic, kind of magic of that first movie in either of the sequels. No, um, but I'm, this is still a good fun family outing. Right. I, I don't think it's a slouch and it doesn't knock the other one down. It doesn't make it look, oh, that one's worse now. Right. You know, there's some movie franchises that have like gone on and really done a disservice to the original source material film, you know. This Where it's one's hard to even like the first one after right. you've seen the second or third. Matrix movies, I'm looking at you. Shh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but this one doesn't ruin the first one. Yeah. It's still really good. The characters are still fun, you know, for the most part. Yeah. Um, especially the main characters. I've always liked them throughout all uh, all three films, and this one certainly no different. Right. And I feel like this is a nice um, kind of rounding out of the whole story. I think of, so. It's a nice, you know, finishing off of the character arcs for for Hiccup and Toothless and for Astrid in particular. Yeah. Um, in these in this franchise, is there anything that you didn't like about this movie? Uh, some of the jokes I thought were got a little, you know, wore a little thin after a while. It's like, okay, you, you've beaten that one to death. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the characters I thought uh, were a little underused uh, to, to the point where they, like, they're barely characters at all. Right. Um, you know, I don't want to give too much away with spoilers as far as, like, this and that, but, like, the Rough Nut, Tough Nut twins. Or um, maybe overused for your liking. One of them certainly was. And I was yeah. just like, <laughs> please stop. It's not working. Just let it go. Let them fade into the background. Well, they're written to be very annoying characters. But then yeah. 
Well, they just but seem then, like they wrapped it up. Because they're on the screen so much and they have so much screen time, it's like, yeah, that you're right. They're really annoying. Please stop showing us this really annoying character. Right. So. <laughs> I mean, some people thought it was funny. I, I thought like, eh, okay. It was a little tired for you. It got a little tired for me. What about you? Yeah. I agree. I mean, they're... You know, the, I don't have major complaints, but I yeah. agree that some that of the... That would have been my only one. Yeah, some of the jokes were... People found them way funnier than I did. And some of yeah. them were kind of beat to death a little bit. Like, they went back to the same gag. One gag in particular, you know, oh, too much. Oh, at least four yeah. times. But, five times, maybe. You know, it's a minor complaint. Overall, the story was enjoyable. The movie was enjoyable. And I feel like if you like the other How to Train Your Dragon movies, that you would like this one. Yeah. And if your kids like it, then your kids will like this one. Yeah. You know? the, the theater, uh, the showing we, which we saw it was loaded with children. And it seemed like they all had a good time. Right, children and teens <laughs> laughing and teens. hysterically. Right. So, yeah. So Don't what like rating it. would you give this on a scale of zero to five? I would give this... Well, if we're talking visually, four stars, four dragon eggs out of five. Because it was <laughs> spectacular viewing. But overall, you know, probably three and a half out, mm. of, uh, out of five dragon eggs. Um, a good movie, not super great, but like, you know, not like a dull waste of time. I thought it was, it was fun, it was entertaining, great to look at, and it was a, a good show. It had, you know, some actually, some good messages in there, and you know, a lot of cool stuff like that, you know? Right. Not yeah, boring. I agree. So speaking of being great to look at, what do you think of my eye makeup? No, I'm just kidding. Let's talk <laughs> about, um... Fabulous. <laughs> Let's talk about this picture that you did for... Our review. I think it's gorgeous. Tell Thank us you. about the picture. Well, I did this before seeing the movie, and I didn't watch the trailers a whole lot because I like to go into movies fresh and not have any preconceived ideas about what I think should happen or what I hope happens. Uh huh. So, I mean, just based on the trailer, I watched like once or twice. Um, I kind of thought it'd be kind of cool. The white dragon and toothless. The uh, light. The fury. light fury and the night fury toothless. That uh, right. they would, you know, be flying around each other and having fun, you know, that kind of thing. And it was funny, my, what it, one of our kids said it was like they are dating. <laughs> the dragon date. <laughs> well, I was drawing it. Yeah. <coughs> but, um. Well, that's kind of what's going on, so that's accurate. It is. I was like, hey, very good cool. way to <coughs> pick up on that. Yeah. Um, but them, you know, flying out at night and with the moon out and the sea and the crazy rocks that they put in these shows, it, had a really good time drawing this. It was really fun and trying to capture the emotion of the, the scene. And it turns out in the show that something similar happens. So I was like, hey, cool. Yeah. So I really yeah. enjoyed it's that. It's really beautiful. What materials did you use for this? This is um, Stabilo Pastel Pencils uh -huh. on Canson Pastel Paper. Yeah. It's great. I'm Once again, I'm just... I always like how you man how you work with the light and the pictures and the film. Well, that's one of my favorite things about your drawings. Thank you. Anyway, I really think this one's beautiful. It turned out great. Thanks. All right, so that is it for drawing conclusions. Thank you for watching this video. Mm -hmm. What should they do next, Joshua? They should like this. They should subscribe. And what should they do, Jessica? Um, a comment would be nice. We always like to hear from yes. our audience. We do. Um, and uh, they should share it. Did you say share it? I did not. Okay, so they should share it. I said like and subscribe. Oh, I wasn't really listening to I you. I know. <laughs> just kidding. I was. I just forgot because I'm stupid. And then um, you should also check us out on Patreon. Yes, please. Because you can hear more of this, and who wouldn't want that? Yeah. So um, all of our subscribers get to hear our podcast, and then there's some cool rewards Besides that, that you can uh, tap into yeah. if you become a patron. Cool so check digital us out there. goodies as well as physical prints. Yeah. So. All right. Thanks.